Hey, what's up everyone? The news is starting to roll in regarding Alpha 21, the next anticipated update for 7 Days to Die. So this will be my first of several videos covering everything we've learned so far. There are a ton of new features to cover, and there are timestamps below if you want to skip ahead. But otherwise, let's begin. Perhaps the most dramatic change to the pre-existing game announced so far is the new Learn by Looting system. Learn by Looting is an overhaul to the crafting system. In the current game, you spend skill points and immediately unlock higher quality or more advanced items. In the case of weapons, armor, and tools, the quality increase applies to all tiers of items equally. For example, if you take three points into sledgehammers, you can then craft quality four or green stone, iron, and steel sledgehammers. With Learn by Looting, you'll need to spend time, you guessed it, looting to get better at crafting. You'll find tons of skill magazines in various loot containers. With each magazine read, that specific crafting skill increases by one. Some crafting skills have as low as 20 magazines required to complete the set, and others have up to 100. Magazines can also be purchased from traders or selected as quest rewards. Magazines in loot will be weighted toward your current skill set, so you'll find more spear magazines if you've specced into spears. So, let's say you find an addition of sharp sticks. Read it and your spear crafting skill will increase by one. As you cross specific thresholds, higher tier items are unlocked. Let's just walk through shotguns as another example. Early on, you'll be able to craft the pipe shotgun, but as you discover more shotgun magazines, the quality of the pipe shotgun you craft will increase. When you've read 11 shotgun magazines, you should be able to craft a quality five or blue pipe shotgun but you'll also have unlocked the Quality 1 Double Barrel Shotgun. More magazines will eventually improve the quality of your Double Barrel Shotgun crafting up to level 5 until again after reading 27 shotgun magazines, you'll unlock the next tier and get access to crafting level 1 Pup Shotguns and so on. This change will make crafting late game items much more difficult and you will need to progress linearly up the crafting tree, progressing through the Stone Age, then the Iron Age, then the Steel Age. Books will no longer instantly unlock crafting recipes, and item schematics have been removed except for mods. Quality 6 or purple items will still be loot exclusive items. I personally really love this change, but it's received a controversial reception on the forums so far. Sound off in the comments below and let me know what your thoughts are on this dramatic change. Images have been revealed of the long anticipated bandits, but we're not entirely sure yet if they'll make it into Alpha 21 or if they might be pushed to Alpha 22. In the game files, there is some code indicating that indeed there are three planned types of bandits. We should expect a mixture of ranged and melee fighters and a third type being some kind of a leader or boss. They will drop a bandit exclusive loot bag, and it's been confirmed that they will not loot or otherwise target your base or items, but they will target you and your stuff could theoretically get caught in the crossfire. There has also been mention of bandit POIs, presumably hideouts or bases, which could become the target of higher tiered quests. A while back, an interesting video was released showcasing the new environmental hazard system. It's not clear how many new hazards there will be, but we can see here that a gas line has been broken and caught fire, blocking one of the new double doors with hot flame. In order to pass through safely, the player must navigate the room to find and close the gas valve, but an ambush awaits the player from above. Several more hazards could be in the works, but we'll just have to wait to find out. It appears that vehicles are getting an art pass. In addition to vehicle mods being visible in Alpha 21, the models from broken down vehicles are being overhauled to give them a more modern feel, being that 7 Days to Die takes place in the near future. It also appears that new vehicles are being added, but no drivable vehicles are confirmed yet. We have seen images of this new tractor, which will simply be a decorative or salvageable item to give farms a bit more flavor. But there has been mention of some kind of waterborne vehicle and perhaps a blimp. We are finally going to get some improvements to the player with some revamped player armor. Previously, there was talk of overhauling the player armor system with a simplified four-piece scheme with a bonus for wearing the whole set. These sets had a rather cartoonish look to them, and the prospect of having to Frankenstein together a set of armor had many players up in arms. We haven't heard anything about this change in quite a while. It very well might still be in the works, but for now, we've been given images of the updated iron armor and the new commando armor, which may or may not be a replacement for the military armor. The water overhaul has finally been confirmed, but it might not be what you were expecting. No, you're not going to be able to captain your own pirate ship a la Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Flag, water will not even be able to flow. But water should be a bit easier on game performance and it should fill adjacent blocks properly 
and things should also submerge properly. And we can only hope that it won't have the consistency of peanut butter when you're trying to swim in it. There are several miscellaneous items that we don't know much about, so I'll just cover those briefly here. One of the devs did let slip that there could be a new workstation in the works, but nothing else is known yet. Could this be something to do with the new learn by looting system, or maybe a workstation for vehicles, or maybe something completely unexpected? Give me your prediction in the comments below. Dismemberment, like what we see on Zombie Steve, will be coming to additional zombies. Finally, performance with skyscrapers has been helped with an overhaul of windows. We can see a couple of the new windows right here. Ragdoll physics will be improved, but no further information here. Trader Wrecked apparently got his liquor license and will be selling a variety of hard alcohol or something. I don't know. We just got these images of some vodka and stuff. Helps explain how Wrecked got this. New POIs and further POI makeovers are in the works. This is the new hospital right here, and we've also seen a teaser of a Trader Bob compound renovation complete with helicopter landing pad. A flyable helicopter is reportedly in discussion, but no solid plans to add one just yet. New doors, double doors, and desks have been created to give more flavor to buildings. Yay. And while the return of the behemoth has been ruled out, there have been developer discussions about adding boss zombies. I remember a discussion in a past live stream where they discussed giving weapons to zombies, such as a fire axe to a lumberjack. Perhaps working on the new bandit system will help them develop this kind of a new AI. So when are we getting Alpha 21? Nobody knows. Perhaps the fun pimps least of all. All we're getting are things like, quote, when it's done. 2022, probably. And hopefully by X date, but maybe by Y date. Basically, it'll be done when it's done, and I'll be scouring Twitter, Discord, and the forums so that you don't have to. So stay tuned for more videos covering every new feature, and if you don't mind, leave me a like if you found this information helpful. Anyways, my name is Tamriki, and I hope this video has earned your subscription, and that I'll see you in the next one. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Mm -hmm.